All right, guys, I'm back. I got another three blister packs. So there's the third. I'm going to roll up my sleeves here real quick. Today, we just got our first Strixheim spoilers, especially with the new Liliana and the new Kazmina. But, you know, we're going to go back and decide to get some more spark opened here. Again, I don't really need much uh, from this set. We're just opening to just build out the collection. Because um, I actually bought a lot of singles of this set. I didn't play this uh, limited that much. Uh, I had just basically got into Paper Magic, but not at the gaming LGS level. Again, this is probably uh, what they refer to as the Bronze Age of Magic. Uh, the foil multiplier was low. The, uh, there was no collector boosters. Uh, there were some promo cards, but they weren't really uh, that marketed. I think they were just kind of experimenting with this, per se. So, um, without further ado, we're going to open up these three packs. Again, I got these from a... I mean, this was a... I thought this was a buy one, get one free. No, this was a huge closeout sale at a GameStop. I bought all these packs uh, for $1.49 a piece uh, plus tax, which was great. Uh, I probably won't even... On average, I probably won't be able to pull... Uh, let me see if I can get this thing to focus in here. Okay. I probably won't be able to pull... Uh, that much money out of this stuff but uh, it's just you know we're having fun uh, real low gamble here not expecting to pull really anything um, trying to get this camera set up good here I'm standing up so okay so my first uncommon is rubble belt rioters eternal taskmaster it's a it's a master I mean this is a solid uncommon I got Kaya again. This is actually my only my second one. I pulled my other one on the first uh, triple pack. Hey, a blast zone. Hey, this is actually a land I don't have, and this is actually a solid rare. Um, I actually like this. I, this is going to go in one of my decks eventually. Uh, we got a mountain, and our token is a zombie army. Okay, so that was a good uh, first pack, in my opinion, uh, just due to the fact that blast zone... It's not, uh, it's not specific to this format, you know, um, it's, it's, I don't know how much it's worth, but, uh, I, I, I think it's going to see, you know, some, um, some deep format play, maybe not on an auto include, but you know, in the right deck, go for it. Soren's Thirst. You know, hey, a 2-2 Death Touch for three. Back when I played Magic, like when I first started, that was a very good above-the-curve card. Got my second artifact. Okay, and this is pack two of three. We got uh, Vizier of the Scorpion. A mass was a cool concept. I wish they would have made a ton of zombie tokens rather than, like, one big one. But, you know, it is what it is. We haven't seen our Planeswalker yet. And you know, here it is. Angarth. Or Angrath. I believe this is a uh, one of the list cards. I would have been kind of disappointed to get that. Hey, okay, Casualties of War. I have a bunch of these just due to the fact that I bought, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I think it was called like Deadly Discovery, which was like a pre-made deck. And um, it, it's, not, it's not bad. This is actually in my snow deck. So, uh, cool. Okay, I've never actually seen the wizard token. And I uh, got a forest there. Okay, last pack. Keeping it short, folks. We're a little under five minutes right now. Again, I'm going to be doing this um, until basically I open the rest of these packs. We're going to do three a day. Short video clips. Supporting the cause of opening magic packs for your enjoyment. As you can see, I group these by color, and then later in the day, I actually go and um, group this by color and alphabetize them, or actually like set number, you know, with this one being, uh, what do you call it, 205? Okay, but anyways, my first uh, uncommon Merfolk Skydiver, um, you know, good proliferate, Simic type deal. Uh, 10th District Legionnaire, again, um, more counter type stuff. Tabalt. 
Okay, we got a uh, one of the gods. The hib. Not bad. And a first foil. Okay, so not bad, not bad. I still think Blast Zone's the best, but you know, if I was playing this unlimited, pretty solid. Okay, well anyways, that's three packs and um see you guys again.